I, I am uh, welcome everyone to the uh, July 16th, 2024 meeting of the Davenport Library Board of Trustees. Uh, my name is Tom Engelman. I'm currently serving as vice president of the board, have been for a number of years. We've gone through introduction and roll call of everyone. I want to thank the, the new members who are joining us. Uh, we always look forward to new perspectives as we move through this process of providing a valuable service to the community. And uh, we'll just kind of move into the agenda. My goal is to always try to get these meetings done in a reasonable period of time. I'm still working a bit. I uh, haven't totally retired yet, and so um, I want to try to make sure we respect people's time as we move through this. Um, the first item on the agenda is uh, the consent agenda, and for those of you who are not familiar, basically the consent agenda is just items that are routine, and we just approve it in one fell swoop. Um, you know, if there is something that needs to be discussed, we generally put that lower on the agenda where we actually discuss the items. So the first agenda item is the consent agenda. Do we have a motion to approve that? So moved. I said we okay. moved and seconded. Okay. Um, so roll call. Um, Malvika? Present. Uh, Bob? So I'm sorry, what is my role here? Yes, you get yes, no. Yes, no, and I'm, I'm, can I just back up just a little bit? You said consent agenda, and I'm not really sure of what that consists of, what is that? Well, the, you can see that there are, we approve the agenda, Okay. we have the minutes, and we have the very, the financial report, which basically is, you should have gotten that in your packet. Yep. Okay. Everything on here, you should have gotten yep. that packet, and I did. Okay. I'm sorry, I should have no, 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 right. So, yes. <laughs> so, um, Joe? Yes. Um, Laura? Yes. And then we'll go over here, Mike? Yes. Uh, honey? Yes. And Jerry? Yes. And my vote is yes. So, that passes. Oh, no, no, no. oh I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting, I'm new to this. Okay. Um, okay, so then we have public of comment. I don't see anyone. So we will move on to the next item, which is reports of communication. Friends, do we have a report from friends? Yeah, just quickly, this is Hillary. Um, we've got two new board members as of this month, so we're really excited to have them. They both have um, nonprofit experience, whether that be as a um, an employee at a nonprofit or a board member. And we had another visitor this month who is a prospective member, hopefully joining us in August. Um, additionally, our executive committee, our, our leadership team is getting together next week just to kind of discuss some strategy and um, and other things to kind of re-engage the board. And um, we're excited about this, the second quarter of 2024. Thank you. Uh, committee reports. Um, since I was the chair of the finance committee, we'll have to figure that out as we go forward. Um, if you look at the budget report, um, there was a budget report that shows for the hunt for all of the year, um, which is apparently there's still some expenses the city has to pick up and accrue into that. But um, I think we more or less had most of it there. If you look at it, um, the, the recapture is for 100% of the year, and our total city appropriation, we're about at 92%, which indicates we're running right on right where we should be. Uh, uh, personnel, Amanda? Yeah, nothing to report this month from the personnel committee. Okay. Thank you. 
advocacy in our people? Uh, no, nothing to report, but just to share uh, with you all uh, the wonderful course that we had on our social media, the Aunt Flo uh, course that we had on our social media. Uh, the beauty of it was I had reshared that on my social media platforms. That got shared by friends in Wyoming to the Park County School Board. They are putting and thanking us, Danford Public, for sharing that and giving us the idea. And so the Cody School District will have those aren't pro because of us, we showed. And the Deetsy Public Library, which is a part of the Park County Library System in Wyoming, uh, they will be having the same. And uh, so I said, I thanked them. I said, do you mind sharing pictures with us after you put them up? We would sincerely appreciate it. We thank you for thanking us and you know letting us know. So thank you, Lexi, for bringing that on board. That was absolutely fabulous. Uh, that was one. And the second one I just wanted to share, I've got such rave reviews. The stuff that we are doing about you know having books, for example, the latest was uh, various books on emotions. Uh, for children that was that were showcased uh, of, you know uh, I kind of took that and there is a again there's a group of uh, the ALA group which is called the ALA think tank group uh, it's not directly affiliated to American Library Association but there are librarians and people who are associated with libraries in various capacities in that group so and uh, they're from all over the world so this was like I think the fourth time or the fifth time our library had done something just absolutely marvelous where one of the teachers, one of the, just before I came, I saw how many had come and liked and said things about it. There were around 274 people who were talking about it. That was at 11.30 before I left. But one of the teachers who was, who appreciated, that, especially those emotion books, uh, she said, go guys down there to Dunford Public Library and talk to them how they do it. And she was from New Zealand. So, <laughs> so thank you. Lovely efforts by all. This is just fantastic. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Tom. Okay, thank you, Malvika. Uh, next item is workers report. Jim. Thank, yeah, thanks, Tom. Uh, the first thing is I want to draw your attention to the new board packets that Casey created for everyone. And so fancy folders. These are really nice folders. Really uh, prefer to have the folders back at the end of the meeting if possible so we can get them prepared for you for next time. And uh, you're welcome to take any contents with you or leave them. If you leave them, we'll just recycle them. So just a heads up on that. Thank you for Casey for doing that. Uh, in terms of my report, just a couple of things to highlight. Number one is our library social worker, Quinn O'Brien, is now a licensed uh, LISW and LCSW, which is a really great accomplishment. And we would uh, celebrate that fact, uh, which is really cool. Uh, in terms of material services and programs, our Touch a Truck event was insane. We had almost a thousand people attend, uh, and it was really, really well uh, done. Um, so our, our teams that worked on that did a fantastic job. We're so thankful for that. Uh, we did partner with the American Red Cross last week on uh, Thursday and Friday for a uh, blood drive that they had at Pints and Paws blood drive, and it was the largest blood drive that they have had in the Quad Cities uh, ever for the Red Cross. So that was really pretty, uh, really great. And they had nothing but positive things to share about the library and our facilities and how many uh, individuals showed up. There were only about 20 people who registered, but close to 40 actually came in and donated blood there. So it was a real good partnership uh, throughout the Quad Cities with a bunch of other humane societies as well, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that, those are the only things I had to highlight. I'm uh, happy to answer any questions uh, Concerns. Our family attended the Touch a Truck, and we actually um, brought another family that lives in Bettendorf. And they were very impressed not only with the Touch a Truck event, but they went inside and saw the new children's installation at Fairmont and were like, wow, this library is amazing. And we're collaborators, not competitors, but <laughs> it was it's nice to see the reach of our facilities and our staff. So great job. Yeah. I want to say I really appreciate the library stories. Yeah. And uh, I have to ask, Lexi, what is True Chad's? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. 
Uh, I had to look it up because I was like, I don't know if that sounds positive, <laughs> um, but I did. And like it, it evolved from some kind of like a, a cool preppy person meaning to, to being a little bit more general. And <laughs> cool and doing a good job. So like, yeah, yes. <laughs> it's a spin off of the old Trixie and Chet, right? Sure, from, sure. From like Wrigleyville and like, uh, like my age people thing. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to make a quick comment. Um, I have an opportunity to work with Quinn on a regular basis, and so that's so good to hear that she's continuing to do great things. So uh, since she's been here, I, I conduct an outreach meeting on the first and third Friday for all the social service agencies come together. She's just been such a dynamic part of that. And then someone allowed her to go on vacation for a whole month. I mean, I missed her quite a bit. Well, there's nothing other. Technically, that's, uh, that's my fault. That was, that was, that was, <laughs> it's an admin policy. Yeah. Request above 10 working days. Yeah. <laughs> She's phenomenal. Anything else? Uh, next item on the agenda is Council Liaison. Variant's not here. Um, so I know that the city normally the sum of the city council is a little slower, but you know, she, I'm sure she would make her points if she were here. So um, moving on to new business. The first item of the new business is election of officers. Jeff. So, uh, Tom, just a couple of things for context for this. I want to make sure that everybody understands what they might be getting themselves into. From the bylaws, uh, the officers of the board are the president, vice president, and secretary. And the president shall preside at all meetings and perform such other duties prescribed by law or which usually pertain to the office. The president shall be the public spokesperson for the full board. The vice president shall perform the duties of the president in their absence. And the secretary shall be responsible for keeping of records of all proceedings of the board and other clerical work. Uh, and just a note on that one, it's really kind of more me than anything else. It's, it's, it's <laughs> uh, and then there are also uh, committees. Uh, so the president, vice president, and secretary form the executive committee of the board of trustees. There's nine members, obviously, and three of those form the executive committee. Uh, and their duties are to the general supervision of all officers and the other committees, and they exercise executive powers as may from time to time be assigned to them. Uh, the, also, the immediate past president, which is Steve Timmy, uh, shall serve as an ex officio non-voting member of the executive committee, and he expressed he plans on them attending meetings in the future he wasn't able to attend today's meeting. Uh, the full executive committee may act on emergency matters uh, prior to a regularly scheduled meeting or when an assembly of the full board is impractical, but any action taken by that executive committee has to be approved by a majority vote um, at the next regularly scheduled meeting. Uh, the other thing is the standing committees, which are the advocacy, finance, and personnel. Advocacy works for the betterment of library services in the community by advocating for funding, communicating with stakeholders and community organizations and promoting library services to community members. The Finance Committee advises the board on all financial matters. And then the Personnel Committee uh, shall make recommendations to the board regarding the evaluation of the library director and other matters dealing with personnel. So those are essentially the positions and the committees for the Board of Trustees. And just to for the edification of the, the new members, um, the executive committee, having served in that, on that position for a number of years, um, we occasionally have um, met and approved things, um, but we've always brought forward to the whole board at the next meeting whatever decision we might have made on that emergency basis. So um, it has happened not very frequently, I guess, as point um, it's not like we do all the time so um, at least we haven't been. <laughs> um, you know and uh, so anyway 
So I guess we will um, start with uh, nominations for officers. Um, do we have any nominations for president? Tom, I'd like to nominate you for president. Thank you. Um, is there any other nominations? Sure. Uh, Tom, uh, I ditto Joe's sentiments. I would put forward your name. Okay. Thank you. Um, um. I would like to nominate Malvika. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I will second that nomination. I, I thank you. I, can I say anything? Sure. Uh, I, I so appreciate both of you uh, for the confidence. I sincerely appreciate. Uh, and I know this is not a reason to give, but I, I unfortunately, I cannot give the time that it, it, I mean, do not take me wrong. Everybody is busy, but I have to leave after the meeting at one on God for certain reasons. And I cannot give the time which I would really like to give and work for. So I, I so apologize that I cannot serve that way, I, even though I would have wished to serve. But I'm sorry, but I appreciate the confidence. Thank you. Well, we appreciate your honesty. <laughs> <laughs> Any other nominations? Very long to serve. Pardon? Are you willing to serve? Well, yes, I am. Okay. So um, I guess we'll call the roll. Um, Bob? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, Joe? Yes. Laura? So do we need, are we voting on you right now or do yes. we need to make a motion? Well, oh, there, there was a motion. Okay, so the nomination is the motion. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm great. Voting yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure we did it right. My apologies. No problem. Mike? Yes. Uh, honey? Yes. Okay. Uh, Jerry? Yes. Uh, Amanda? Yes. Uh, I guess my vote is yes, so okay. Uh, I'll be done. Yes. Okay, now we have, we have the vote for uh, Vice President. Um, are there any nominations for that position? Hi. Would you like to do it, um, Laura? I'm going to be less graceful than Malavika in my decline and say that I'm very happy to serve the role of trustee right now, but with my other board commitments, my career commitments, my family commitments, just the trustee member is the level of commitment. Right now. <laughs> Any, anyone else who would like to serve? I'd like to recommend my friend Joe here. Okay. With the understanding that it doesn't automatically mean that I become president. Then it's reflected. The other thing, I don't know if we made clear, it's a, it's a two year commitment. It's right. for the election is yeah. for two years. Yeah. Um, the exception is for the committees. That's just for one year. That's an annual thing. Yeah. There's no expectations if we want to the president. <laughs> right. We don't norm, We don't have. Steve was president for right. a long time. Yeah. So, you know, it's not like every two years it goes yeah. up. Are any other nominations, vice president? Any other nominations? Second, just Joe's nomination. Check in with Amanda or Michael, Amanda. see if they want to throw their hat in the ring. Amanda? Um, I think I'm okay. Okay, all right. So um we'll go go to my roll call in a minute. Uh, Joe? Yes. Um Laura? An enthusiastic yes. Mike? <laughs> yes. Honey? Yes. Uh, Jerry? Yes. Um, Amanda? Yes. 
Malvika? Yes. Somebody's helping? Yes. Okay. Bob. Bob. Yes. <laughs> the new guy. <laughs> Somebody... <laughs> I'm sorry. Bob. Uh, yes. All right. So, yeah, I should have noticed that. Okay. All right. So, and then the last position is secretary. Is there any nominations for the position of secretary? And as um, it's been noted, that position is sort of. Well, it, 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 <laughs> well I, I, I do that. Yeah. The, 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 the secretary's okay. position has basically in the past mostly functioned as part of the executive committee. And so when we've had the rare meetings of the executive committee, um, that's just part of that. I know um, Malvika has a, on occasion attended that group meeting too. So, so I, mean, I mean, I'm hearing you say that Malavika could take this figurehead role. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't mind. Okay. <laughs> Is there any other? Would you be willing to serve? I, I wouldn't mind. And, and that's for that reason. With, so, I wouldn't mind. Okay. <laughs> Is there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Anyone else want to? Feel easy. Just really just Okay, so um Malvika has been nominated and this is, said she would be willing to serve. Um we'll have a roll call on that. Joe? Yes. Um, Was there a second on that one? I will second. Laura? Yes. Mike? Yes. Uh, Honey? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Um, Amanda? Yes. Malvika? Yes. Myself? Yes. Really having a brain fart. Um, so okay, so now Lika will be the secretary, um, and then we also have uh, committee assignments. Um, I don't know if we necessarily have to do that today. Um, so um, what it states is that the committee shall be appointed annually by the president at the regular meeting in July or as soon as, uh, after as possible. Um, so we could have a discussion on who would be willing to serve on which of those three committees, and then you can make that appointment. I mean, uh, that would be my preference. You know, if there are people who have a particular type of committee they would like to serve on, you know, now that you kind of have an awareness of what those particular assignments might be, you might have some awareness of the time commitment involved. Um, you can think about that maybe at the next meeting, we could then um, come forward and make those appointments. I mean, that would be my preference. <laughs> but um, so, so I, I think that's what the way we'll proceed with that. Okay. And then uh, the next order under new business is um, yes, sir. Then, so we should between now and the next meeting tell you what we're interested in. Well, so think of, think about it. You, you can communicate that at the next meeting, or if you want to communicate it before, that would be fine. But um, you know, I know um, Joe has been on the finance before, and Amanda's been on uh, personnel, and Malvika's been advocacy. But, um, you know, that doesn't mean you necessarily have to stay where you were. And, and may I say something? Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, uh, yes, and I just, I just, I also would like to know, if, yeah, I would also like to share that if anybody is interested, it need not be me, who uh, is the committee chair, I'd be more than happy uh, to be a part of something and someone wants to take over. So I just want to make that clear as well. So, you know, so. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 
I am currently on personnel and I'm in a bit of a thing at work because I'm on the finance committee at labor. So I cannot be on finance committee here since the family I might have to step away from that role. So no finance for me is kind of how we're interpreting rules at this point. I'll continue with my Right. So again, we'll, we'll make those appointments at the next meeting. So we, everyone can think about where we might want to serve. Um, the next order of business is a motion awarding a contract for security services to Citadel Security USA in an amount not to exceed 60000 Jeff, like this bit. Uh, so there is a memo in your packet that gives you a little bit of information on this content uh, for context. Mm -hmm. uh, following uh, your decision in May to extend the policy restricting employees from carrying firearms uh, to include security contractors, we reached an agreement with Firmar Security to provide temporary security services at Main Library uh, through August 17th. We then collaborated with City Finance to release an RFP for long-term security services and uh, we received a number of bids. Uh, there were six actual bidders uh, that I believe that we received before the process. And we, uh, Library Administration Advice, has awarded the security services contract to Citadel Security. Uh, funding for this expense is included in our annual operating budget and it's covered with the professional services agreement. I'd love to make this motion. I can't believe that was only May. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's only been two months since then. Yeah. Yeah. I, I found it interesting that uh, the gentleman was so adamant about um, his employees wanting to work out of this. But, you know, that's his choice. So, okay. Um, is there a motion? To yeah, I'll make a motion to approve. Um, Thank you, Laura. I second the motion. I'll be the second. Um, any further discussion? What was the name of the previous company? Global Security Services? They didn't want to continue because they wanted to work out of things. Essentially. Okay. Is this a single year contract or is this a multi year commitment? This was one, one year with like two, two years. Two years. Two years. Yeah, one year with two years. Just kind of curious, was there a reason why they felt they needed to have it done? So, I mean, I, um, ultimately, to try to distill it briefly, I think there was miscommunication when they when they applied for and received the bid in the first place. And they were in the expectation that they were going to provide armed security, and we never asked for armed security. So they started in January 2023, and we had four security officers from them um, up until March of this year, they were all unarmed. Um, but then that security officer was suddenly started carrying a firearm in March and didn't notify us about it. And that's what started things at that point. So I think it was essentially miscommunication. They were planning on providing armed security and we never requested the armed security. So there was never like an incident in the library where they felt the need to do so, just not to my knowledge. But there were people who were uncomfortable with it. So, so um, that we have a motion and a second to approve the contract. Um, I'll call the roll. Um, Laura? Yep. Over here. Uh, Mike? Yes. Um, honey? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Amanda? Yes. Um, Joe? Yes. Bob? Yes. And does anybody? Oh, I got yes. Sorry. And myself as a yes, and that passes. And then the next item is um, review, review of administrative policy, section one. Um, 
employment practices in Section 3, Employee Conduct. And for those of you who are new to the board, um, as part of our accreditation, we have to periodically review all policies and occasionally make it amendments and adjustments as we move forward. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, Tom, thanks. There is a memo in your board packet that gives a little bit more information about it as well. Uh, as you know, as the governing body for the library, the trustees are responsible for establishing all policy. Uh, and then the library director, working with my team, would then oversee the implementation of approved policy and provide direction to staff, usually through procedures and guidelines, best practices, that sort of thing. Uh, the library operates under three types of policies. Those are board policy, administrative policy, and then city administrative policy. Uh, board policy and administrative policy are two distinct sets of policies that govern different aspects of the organization. Board policy is basically uh, public policy. It kind of impacts the public for the most part. Uh, there are 18 policies within board policy. Those are all available on our website. Uh, administrative policy primarily concerns employees that and covers kind of employment related issues, such as paid time off, work and expectations, stuff like that. And there are 39 policies under administrative policy. So those are categorized into six categories, employment practices, performance expectations, employee conduct, benefits and leave, hiring, and miscellaneous. Uh, then in addition to all of that is city administrative policy, which applies to all employees of the city, including those uh, employed at the library who also receive city benefits. So if the trustees have not addressed a specific issue in one of the policy that you have approved, then generally the city administrative uh, policy is then applicable. Uh, that policy is available online as well, and you're encouraged to look at that uh, because of what Tom had mentioned uh, for our accreditation. So public library standards, uh, they dictate that we have four approved policies, uh, which are circulation, collection development, personnel, and internet use. And then all the written policies have to be reviewed at least once every three years. And, reviewed and updated as necessary. So right now, the administrative policy is under review because our current accreditation cycle is going to be up uh, by the end of March 2025. Uh, so in order to streamline the process uh, for this review and not to overwhelm all of you and us uh, as well, uh, we decided to break it down um, so that you're not looking at 39 policies all at once. So what we're going to do is um, proposing that we look at sections one and three this month, then two in August, four in September, and then the final two sections in October. And then in November, there'll be an opportunity for the trustees to approve all of the all of the administrative policies at the same time. So uh, leadership team and the idea team also are reviewing any policy for any recommended changes. Um, idea team had noted uh, one item which we've addressed, and you can disregard that if that's in the memo. Uh, and then one final note is that we did um, change both board policy and administrative policy recently with uh, like a template so it aligns with our current uh, brand new guidelines so i think i said policy or policies <laughs> 31 times <laughs> in the memo and or it's out loud uh, it's a lot uh, but it's uh it's fun stuff it's good stuff big question um just because you know i can be pretty linear thinker are we doing sections one and three because of the volume of policies volume. in those two and then we're going to two? That's a great question. Yes, volume is what we were looking at. Uh, are we doing, are we going to approve those today? Yes. Or are we going to, because traditionally we have, we have discussed them on one meeting mm -hmm. and then maybe approve them on the next meeting. And that's kind of what we're going to do with this one too, but we're going to um, discuss, 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 discuss each of those four and then approve all of them at once. That's what oh, we're proposing. Okay. Slightly different for these just because there's so many of them. Okay. So I guess we will we will then discuss. Yeah. When we start with the policy one, what's it, one, one, one? Yeah, one, one, one. Yeah. Um, and if you want to go through any, any recommended changes there. Uh, you'll see as you look at each one, any changes are indicated in red or with a red stripe through. Um, a lot of them are uh, just in line to make sure they're in accordance with current practice and in some cases with the union contract. 
and a lot of them are really just review. There's not a lot of substantive changes in here proposed, but obviously it's up for consideration. Is there any discussion on board? I have a question. Substitute page on the second page. A bandy. What is that? That is the pay scale that um, they align to, like the raises and increases for the scale that the city creates for each position. So substitutes would automatically be part of that as well. Yeah, they have okay. a, their own separate. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a typo or something. Thank you. Any, any other discussion? So we're we're changing to pronouns. We're changing pronouns. In general, yeah. yeah, that's one of that's one of the changes. Um, mm -hmm. Limiting him, her, his to just say theirs. Mm -hmm. Other discussion? Just a question on that. Uh, I understand why you're doing that. Appreciate that. And I was talking earlier about this. Um, contemporary usage is now allowing you to say to use a singular um, pronouns. And I, I think that's fine if you want to do it, but I think we need to be consistent all the way through because the document. Even within the single paragraph, the ship would be singular and plural pronouns. And um, I guess just from a grammatical perspective, I'd like this to be consistent all the way through. Now, I had started putting this all together, and then our car went out. <laughs> I feel like kid in school, right? I did my assignment. <laughs> but I mean, there, there isn't, I, I didn't see typographical errors, I just saw consistency. Usage, and I'm happy to go through with my suggestions. If you are good on this one, probably it just gives you written form because I don't have software that allows me to adjust PDFs. I can't go in and change them. Mm -hmm. And when I cut and paste out of a PDF, I lose all of your changes. I have only the original text. So if it's okay, I'm going to go through and, and make some suggestions. Sure. And I'll just drop it off and you guys can. None of my changes change the content. Yeah. It's just a matter of maintaining consistency of usage. And if you'd like, we can share the word versions with you as well if you find that easier. Um, then I can do it right in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll, 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 yeah. We'll get those to you. For yeah. And, and I guess we'll have power back by tomorrow. Yes. 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 I will read it. <laughs> Michael, thank you for expressing that so yeah. articulately, much better than I do. My questioning is always, I want to be as inclusive as possible. I have no issue with adding the non-binary or the gender neutral pronouns. Just the grammar, the grammar, the grammatical appropriateness of it is the part that I get hung up on. I don't know because I don't work in this world. I work in a world of numbers. Um, is it, would it be reasonable or possible to consider instead of replacing his and her with their, having it be his, her, their, and so then we have all three, or am I making a mountain out of a molehill here? Someone, okay, faces are telling me to stop. <laughs> okay, just this painful, it doesn't fit. Okay. Like, is this, is this standard now? I mean, I would say it's pretty best practice at this point yeah. to just use. It is there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Five, five years from now, we'll see. We can look at it again. I know. What's happening in, 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 in academic circles, there has been, this This is not new, this is not yeah. like within the last 10 years, this has been going around over for decades, mm -hmm. how we use that third person when we have 
singular pronouns. And um, I can remember telling my students repeatedly, no, 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 they've got to be parallel. You've got to use the same voice all the way through. And now if you look at both APA and MLA, which are the principal ones, they're both saying, no, they is fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Because, and, and now it's because of the non-binary stuff going on, and they is that very convenient, and, and it's the same problem we have with you. We don't make a distinction there. You can be singular, you can be plural, right? Although I guess if you're not on top, it's you. But no, it's y'all. 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 It's Right. Right. I'll have coke with that. Yes. I, I'll, 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 yes. What kind of coke would you like? <laughs> yes. So, well, and, and I guess you can share it with it if you want, but it'll just be mm -hmm. some suggestions all the way just to the square. And, yeah. Right. And, yeah. Everything I was suggesting does not change substantively the content you have in it. I mean, everything else seems Thank you, Michael, and thank you for these special meetings, staff, for everyone helping me understand. I'd just like to mention that I like this. I like the standardization that we have done now with the employer, which we used to have before. We have the library, so the branding part as well, and the, the consistency. So that's wonderful. Thank you. Any other discussion? So, does you want to move to, I guess, 1.2? Part of the world? Is that part of it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, we covered that. Yeah. Unless there's of, anything else someone needs on 1.2. We can cover any of the other sec, uh, college number one. I'm through, I guess it's 1.5. Again, we will be we will be holding them on hold on this back in November, so you've got time to look at this and think about it for a while. So I guess we move on to um, I guess I'm policy three, which is conduct conduct. Yes, Jeff, did you want to say anything about this? So uh, again, uh, just the standard changes for that we've discussed, and 3.1 in particular, a couple of just reformatting and rephrasing uh, so that it all falls in the same kind of pattern. So like, for example, under two, we didn't need to say is prohibited because it states that these are prohibited lists. So it's kind of redundant to have that in there. It's a question on uh, 3.3, the complaint procedure under provisions. Um, really, they'll first present the complaint to their meeting supervisor, unless the complaint is regarding their immediate supervisor. Does the rest of the policy outline what they are to do if it is regarding their immediate supervisor? Yes. Do they know what to do? Okay. If, if it's if it is about their immediate supervisor, does it go into who they then go to? Any other? So I might have inferred that you're asking, do you go above the supervisor's head? Yeah. I, well, what path do you take? You know, if I if I work for Tracy and I have a problem with Tracy, who who do I take that to? Of course, it did. <laughs> 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 you take it to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> 
other discussion? Go right ahead, Mike. No, no, I'm just, I just I'd like to hear an answer. No, I think that's a good point. I don't know if it's spelled out. Yeah, we can add that in. I think we can address that. I'll have a little Yeah. 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 I just have a quick question, and I know sometimes to simplify things and not to sound too redundant, and I see where you remove the word cell phone because it says the use of personal devices, but I sometimes think that sometimes things need to be specific, and I think because cell phones is such a big thing, I'm wondering why you want to remove the word cell phone. That was meant to address all types of devices, so tablets and smartwatches or anything else. So it was meant to just be more all-encompassing, not just limiting to just the cell phones. That's a question that's come up periodically is, what can I do with my other device? Mm include everything without spelling everything out. Any other Well, again, as, as Jeff stated, we, we will be voting on this in November. So um, I think generally what, what staff does is they take our comments and they sometimes work them back into a revised version of this, which we will have before we vote in November. So, you know, as we move forward, we will do this on subsequent policies and do, do this in one big batch in November. Okay. Do you have any comments, Amanda? Nope, not in addition to what we were just discussing. Think so. Okay. All right. So Move on to the next item on the agenda, um, which is President's comments. I don't really have any that I just got here, so um, sometimes there will be something there. Um, the next item is board training. Oh, I, I did want to point out to the new members of the board, um, if you look on your the information that staff provided. We periodically meet at the branches. So you will see, for example, in September, we're scheduled to meet at the Eastern Branch. And then usually in March, we meet in, at Fairmount. Otherwise, we meet here. And so, just so you're aware that sometimes we meet at a different location. Sometimes we forget and have to race. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, and under board training, we've got uh, board work, trustee scorecard, and board training schedule. So, Tom, this is a continuation from some of what the board worked on in the fall to prepare for the transitionary period where we were going to have three trustees stepping off and three new trustees coming on. And one of the things that the board did at that time was go through what we referred to as board work to try to identify some strengths and some weaknesses and to see if we could identify where we might be able to get some really good trustees in as candidates and then hopefully sway the mayor to go with our with our best selections. And so here we are today now with, with a great, great core group now of trustees and um, 
an opportunity to go through a little bit more of that order. So I had shared with you what we refer to as the trustee scorecard. And then I also have a, a list of who and top topics and who will present to the board coming up as well. And I, that's not in your packet, that's just something that I have. Um, the scorecard is really meant as a self-assessment for a trustee to for you to use to see if there's areas that you might want to improve in or not, um, where you feel you're com confident in, uh, in terms of how you are serving as a trustee for the library. And then it also does help, uh, at least from an administrative perspective, we can identify some of the areas where you think you might need some extra work or maybe we need to focus on some of those topics on some of these other areas as well. So I don't know how uh, you want to approach it with a, with a trustee scorecard. I don't know if anybody's comfortable sharing their scores if they did complete it. Essentially it's set up for 20 kind of points and each point is worth uh, five, so it'd equal 100. So if anybody did score themselves and get above 90, that would be phenomenal. <laughs> it's un unlikely that anybody's that, that amazing. Uh, but I think all of you are that amazing, so uh, I don't know how that would, yeah, how that would work. Oh, much. I've done this. 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 I've done uh, because we do have new trustees, we want to make sure that we're getting our department heads to you as soon as possible. So uh, actually next month, uh, Tracy's going to start out with, uh, with development and fundraising. And then we're going to start getting into the department heads. So uh, we'll have customer services, information services, tech, technical services, youth services, our community outreach services, special collections, facility, IT, then into summer reading, marketing, collection development, office and facilities, HR, our social work patron experience team and programming and that runs us all the way through the end of 2025 right. so that's the tentative slate for how we wanted to approach training and opportunities for that yeah uh, typically as jeff was saying uh, we'll have a presentation to us as part of our meeting of a, either like a department at the library or something that's going on that we need to be aware of that let it um, educate us as board as to what exactly is going on. So yeah, I, I, I'm hopeful that that will be beneficial to all of us. Those of us who've been around a while, it will renew our memory. And yeah. <laughs> for, for new folks, you can pick up, you know, and some people have already are aware of a lot of that, but it's always good to see, you know, what's new. So. I guess with that. Can oh, I make a suggestion? Yes, ma'am. Uh, someday, can we all, and now that it's nice spring and uh, summer going on, can we have a photo? We used to have a photo of the board at the start of the, so is it possible that next time, I mean, we could fix it. Sometime. Sure. Just just throwing it out if we could have it. Sure, sure. We, we could have a group photo. We could do a group photo if yeah. you wanted. Would you like guys like to do it maybe at the next meeting? Okay, that way we have a photographic record of, of this term's board. Do you guys do it today? Amanda, are you coming next week? Next month? I hope to be in next month. I'll be very long. So you do take photo. a picture like I did last week. Yeah. <laughs> and your head looks a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will do a group picture at the next meeting when everyone is physically available. I may not. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. <laughs> sorry to that. That's okay. I wish this was good stuff. We do it every month. With the following one? It does. Yes. Every month. Yes. We finally yes. catch everybody yes. to see who's out. Out of September. September. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, September. No, I'm just saying that. 
No, I <laughs> held it down at Table Rock again, I think. Oh, okay. um, I, I'm just saying I don't think that we often have 100% participation. <laughs> well, so yeah, I'm fine with you guys taking it today and just Photoshopping me. Sorry, I said I'm fine with you guys taking it and photoshopping me. Just pretend. <laughs> Are you in PJ? So can you flip your camera on real quick? I don't want to put you on the spot. I just did, so never mind. <laughs> I'm trying. It's not going on. Yeah, we saw you earlier. Yeah. And all my people did plus. That's what we did last year. Yeah, we did it with him last time. All right, which kit, which screen? This one was easier. Okay. Get my clothes out of it. Oh, I make a motion we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.